Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! A new set has come out, so I just got a lot of crud in the mail. I think I just bumped my mic, but that's okay. So I got a whole bunch of stuff in the background. I've of course got the new set right here, Fates Collide, one of the booster boxes. I've also got a couple of mythical uh, Pokemon collection stuff back there. We got Jirachi and Darkrai. Down here we've got one of the theme decks and a Gyarados tin. Up there is a Charizard EX box. And back here we've got another tin right there, another tin there. There's the second theme deck. We've got the Ash Greninja EX uh, box thing. Two Fates Collide blister packs. A Mega Mawile EX premium collection back there. There's the Fates Collide Elite Trainer box. And what we'll be opening today, a second Fates Collide booster box. So, let's go ahead and get into this new set. I have not looked at any of the cards, but you can see on the side we've got a Lugia break right there. So this set will have breaks, which is I think the third set with those. We've got a Mega Alakazam back there. Whoop. Don't want to drop it. We've got a Zygarde in one of his crazy forms right there, so there's probably going to be some pretty cool stuff in this set. Let's just go ahead and get this plastic off of here and take a look. There we go. And I've got my desk. Aside from the new stuff, I've got my desk finally cleaned off. I've had stuff building up for like the past several months, but we're finally good to go. So here is the thing with the plastic off. Let me make sure I'm in focus. And let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and get some packs out. We're going to go ahead and count out nine right from the front there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's what we're going to go with. I noticed there's a Del Fox break right there on one of the pack arts. So I'm wondering if we're going to have a Greninja or a uh, Chestnut as well, but I guess we'll just have to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pack. We've got a Lugia break right there, which I would love to pull. That'd be great if we could pull a Lugia break. And of course, guys, as usual with the new set here, I'm going to go pretty slow because new art, that's probably my favorite part of new sets is checking out all the art. So we're going to take some time to actually look at it instead of just zipping right through for this first one. Okay, so the first thing we have is an old Amber Aerodactyl, so that pretty much says to me right off, we're going to have an Aerodactyl in this set, so I guess we'll have to hope to see that. We opened an Aerodactyl collection box recently, but, well, I guess there's another one here. Here we've got a Power Memory, which is kind of strange. It's actually got an attack on it right here. All cells burn. This card three energy cards attached to this Pokemon, so I guess you attach this item to the Pokemon, and then you can use that attack with them. Here we've got a Halucha. He's an uncommon in this set. Sometimes Halucha's an EX. Sometimes he's a common. This time, he's an uncommon. We've got a Burmy right there. So we're into the commons now. And this is the set symbol for this set, by the way, guys. Right down there. So this is number two. Looking pretty nice. Look at that Burmy. It's got the three different designs there. We have a Larvitar. Very nice. Even though Ancient Origins had so many Tyranitars, I guess we're going to have another one here. We've got a Bronzor. I guess it's all right. We got Minchino, of course, always looking cute. We've got Tail Smack, way better than Tail Whip. We've got a Snubble right here, kind of hiding under a table for some reason. And then right here, we've got our first Reverse Holographic, starting off with the rare in the very first pack, and that is a Barbarical, or however you pronounce that guy, X and Y Pokemon. And the last card of the first pack is a Mega Adino EX. Okay, so it looks like Mega Adino is finally getting a card. How about that? So that's pretty gosh dang awesome. Starting off with a great pack right here. It's got Magical Symphony. If you played a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Pretty cool. All right, so there you go, guys. Mega Adino EX in the first pack. Really surprised, actually, to see that of all things in this. And I've got the... I've got actually got both of my mats down. I've got the Mega Metagross one back here and the Blaziken one up front. But okay, let's get to the second pack. Actually, let's take a closer look since these are new pack arts. So that one's going to be the Delphox Break. I'm not sure if Delphox and Chestnut have a crazy form. Like, we've got the Ash Greninja. I don't know if uh, Delphox and Chestnut have a form like that. Or if they're just going to have the breaks. I'm guessing that Ash Greninja is something totally different, though. Okay, so there we go. That w would have said that we've got an Adino in the set if we got that last time. But there you go, Adino Spirit Link. We've got a Helix Fossil Omanite. So there might be some Omanite inside here. Wow, of all guys, we've got N coming up into this set. We've got a Fennekin running alongside a, a, a Chikorita there. There's a Seal. We've got Diglett looking at some stone action right there. I don't know why he's so excited about that. I don't know if those crystals are meant to be anything. Here we've got a Snivy looking awesome. Oh, look at this guy. Coughing like never looks cute, but this is one of the only times I've ever seen a cute coughing. And of course, it's my favorite right there, a Suey Art, so of course I'm going to love that one. But that's actually an adorable coughing. 
Here we've got our second reverse holographic. This one's an uncommon. We've got a loud red. I'm not sure if we're going to have a regular x or if he's going to be an EX, but I would assume it's going to be a regular. And then we've got a Carbink. This time a fighting Carbink. Normally Carbink's a fairy type, but I guess not this time. So there we go, our second rare. And here's the third pack. This one's going to be a Mega Alakazam pack. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that Mega Alakazam. I saw a really, really cute Pokemon right on the front. Kind of out of focus there, but you guys will see it in just a second. So let's go ahead and move these around. And let's take a look. We've got an Energy Pouch, whatever that does. We have a Wormadom. Of course, you got to have that if you've got Burmy in the set. There's a Scorched Earth. Okay, that's what I was seeing. That was so cute. Gosh dang dearling. And it's got Find a Friend. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So that's a pretty common move on different Pokemon. But of course, we got the super cute pink dearling. We got a Riolu. Very nice. We have Jigglypuff hanging out with Snivy and Spoink. We've got so many Jigglypuffs in these recent sets. Wow, another Carbink. This one's just a common. And I think I like this common one actually better than the rare one. I mean, as far as art's concerned, I mean, look at look at the one on the left. This is the common. I think this should have been the common, and this should have been the rare. They kind of missed an opportunity on that one, I guess. We got another Larvitar, so a second Larvitar in this set. We've got a Reverse Holographic Riolu, so we got Devil Riolu pack. Very nice. And we've got a Mew. Look at him. Oh! It's actually a holographic. It's kind of a subtle hollow, but you know, we got super cute holographic Mew. Very nice. And Memories of Dawn. I don't know if that's meant to be Memories of Dawn from Generation 4, but there you go. Very nice. So we've got one holographic and one EX so far. Let me get zoomed back out. And here is the last pack art. This one is a Zygarde. I forget what this form is called. I think it's like Zygarde 100% or Zygarde Complete Form. Something like that, I think is the right name. Let me know if I'm messing that up. I probably am. I'm thinking that Zygarde form is probably either a part of a movie or it's going to be. I don't know if there is. I haven't kept up with the movies at all. Okay, to go with that seal we got, we've got ourselves a Dugong. We also have a Wigglytuff right there to go with our Jigglypuff. There's a Mega Catcher. Switch one of your opponent's benched Mega Evolution Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. So I guess if you really want to fight their Mega for some reason, you could. Here we've got a Larvitar. There's a Volibee, which I actually almost put Volibee on my old top 10 ugliest Pokemon list, but this one's actually kind of cute, although Volibee is normally very ugly. Of course, another cute Minchino. We've got a Wizmer to go with our Loudred that we got. There's Gothita. We also have... Okay, there we go. We've got our first break card right there. So that's going to be a Bronzong break. Let's go ahead and get a zoom in on that guy. As usual, got the really, really cool break pattern with like the squares with the crazy shiny looking thing. I love the look of the break cards. So gosh dang awesome. Hey, that's a pretty cool one to get. I was, I, sometimes I just get really surprised by the types of Pokemon they choose. Like, Audino and Bronzong of all Pokemon. I think it's cool to show some not super popular Pokemon some love. Although, I, I guess Audino's kind of popular. And to go with that, we have a Zygarde. Okay, so we got one of the mascot Pokemon. Not in his complete form. I'm guessing the complete one's either going to be a Break or an EX. So, I guess we'll see. But there's our Zygarde. Still got like five packs to go. Like I said, we're going to be going pretty slow through the first video here, but we'll speed it up once we've seen a lot more of the commons. I mean, if we see the same things over and over, I tend to speed it up because, well, we've already seen them, so might as well just kind of get through them there. Okay, so now we've got a Duosion. That's a new one. We have a Kangaskhan. Very nice. And he's got Mega Punch. I like how he's got Tiny Punch and Mega Punch, and his art kind of looks like he's doing the Mega Punch, and the little one down there is doing the Tiny Punch. It's pretty cute. All right, we've got a uh, Cinchino, or however you pronounce that one. We've got another Diglett. There's a Spoink. Oh, I love him. We've got the super cute Coughing. There's another one of those cute Volibees. A second Riolu. Yeah, it's kind of a running theme with the new sets. They always seem to put two or three of the same Pokemon just as different arts. Our reverse holographic is a Deerling. I don't even know if this is meant to be a theme for the set, but I'm noticing so many cute Pokemon in this one. And we've got a Reuniclus. Very nice. All right, four packs to go right here. Let's see if we can get one more good card. We've got kind of like the full spectrum of things. We've got a Reverse Hollow Rare. We've got a Break. we got an EX. And we got a Holographic. So we've kind of got a little bit of everything, which is pretty nice. But I'd like to get a little, little bit more for these first nine packs. Okay, so the next pack, we've got a Alakazam Spirit Like No surprise, we're going to have a Mega Alakazam in this one because he's kind of on one of the pack arts. We've got a Fossil Excavation Kit right there. There's another Wormadom. This one's the pink one. 
and it kind of points out you can go from the pink, the beige, or the green one there. I'm sure those have more particular names, but I'm just, uh, I guess, naming the colors. We've got a Riolu. There's Cottony. We have, there's Burmy. There's a Snubble once again. We've got Bronzor. The reversal of the graphic is an x -Blood. so as expected, it's just kind of a normal guy. Not a Mega, or, <laughs> not a Mega, not a uh, EX or anything. So there's our Rare, is it? Yeah, it is rare. Okay, this is our rare x -Bloud. And we've also got a Tyranitar holographic. And look at this guy. He has an attack that has five energy card cost. Holy crud. I think that's kind of Tyranitar's thing. Like, throughout the different sets in TCG, he's been, he was like the first guy to ever have an attack that cost five, I think. Maybe there was something with like Ho-Oh or something that cost five. I can't remember, but... Oh, maybe it was one of the Tyranitars. One of the old Tyranitars had three attacks, which is very unusual. Most Pokemon have one or two. So I think the first Pokemon to have three attacks was a Tyranitar, but I, I could be wrong about that. Okay, this pack we've got Team Rocket's handiwork. There's Weezing, not quite as cute as the coughing, but still pretty cool looking. We've got a Fairy Garden, which Clevy will probably like. She actually wants to build like a little Fairy Garden thing. We've got a Cottony. There's Seal. Wismer. We've got Fennekin. A Solosis. Look at that shelter back there. Look at him. Oh. We've got a Reversal of the Graphic Carbink, the one I like a little bit better. And we've got a Kabutops. I'm actually not that surprised to see this guy because there's been a lot of fossils in this set. So once again, it's, it's kind of got a lot of cute Pokemon, but it's also got a lot of fossils. The cute, I think, is just a coincidence, but I think the fossil is part of the, uh, the set theme, I guess. I don't really know why. Fates Collide doesn't really sound like it has anything to do with fossils, but... This kind of went for it. I really have to sneeze. Okay, because this video was so long, my recording cut out. But we're back, and here we have a Kabuto. I don't even know if I've got the fossil for Kabuto, but we've got him and Kabutop, so we're good to go there. Now we've got a Loud Red. This is the non-reverse holographic one. We've got a Fairy Drop. Heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any Fairy energy attached to it. Sounds pretty cool. We've got a Minchino. There's a Deerling. There's Carbink. We have, whoa, scary Fennekin. The other one was just kind of chilling, hanging out with Chikorita. Maybe they got into a little fight right there and Fennekin set them on fire. Here we've got a Solosis. The reverse holographic is a Snivy. And we've got a Mandibuzz, non-holographic rare, to go with our kind of cute Vullaby. And our last pack right here, guys. We'll see what we got. Let's see if we get one more good card in this, uh, in this, I guess, booster box of this episode, I guess. Okay, there's that. And here is the last pack we have. A Whimsicott, there's Bryxen of course, we've got a double colorless energy which kind of looks a bit more pink, I don't know how that's colorless, but I guess I wanted to give a little flair to it. We've got a Snivy, there's Meowth, very menacing Meowth, we've got Gothita, Jigglypuff, we have Deerling, okay double pack with the, the Meowth here, we've got a reverse holographic version of him, and a Lucario, looks like he's powered up with some double colorless energy right there. I don't know what's up with the pink, but there you go. Actually, he could use it right there, double colorless, to fill in that attack, so maybe he really is powered up by that. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the first part of this new set. Some really awesome cards so far. I'm hoping to see some more EXs in the future, some more breaks as well. I would love to get that Lugia break, so, well, let's we'll keep looking for it. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow, and we'll keep going. Take care.